I forgot to mention that the source code for the previous lecture is attached. You can find it. And uh, there are certain things that I did. I want to show them to you as it will help us improve the overall overall controller. So the first thing I did is I created a empty game object and I put all of our grounds that we made in the previous lecture and this is what I did. So the first one is over here. This is at minus 35. This is at 35 and this one is basically at uh, zero. So you can see it over here. Minus 35, 35 and zero over here and this is kind of like a ramp and i created this because i found that the previous controller that we made it would kind of fly off if it uh, entered an area like this this kind of slope so it would fly and the reason for that is because of physics so if the rigid body was too fast it would just fly and that is not what we want we want the rigid body to basically transition between this slope right here to this flat surface without any bump or any kind of lift off any kind of uh, anything like that and that is what we will take a look at in this lecture so you can make this ramp if you want yourself i will attach the source code as well so you can take a look at it but uh, this is how the controller looks like right now and the controller is fast as well. So you'll see that right now we can go over this slope without any lift off. And this is what I actually wanted. Now, without this, without this feature that I've added, this, 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 uh, controller would have just flown off. It wouldn't just go as smoothly as it is in on top of these, on top of these slopes. And this is what I basically want to show. So if I go to this, script right here this is the script that we prepared last time so this is these are the changes that uh, we have basically created so you can see all of this this is the same look direction a uh, look rotation apologize input vector and these are the same as well we'll just delete them delete the serialized field i'll delete that and also delete serialized field from here so this is an addition so when this is true, it will tell the game that the player is in the air because the jump button was pressed. So this is an addition. And uh, this, I believe, is not an addition, but I will delete this as well. And yeah, so the, the only addition is this one right here. This one. This is the addition. And uh, th that is for the variables. Now we are going to go to process jump button, this function right here. And over here, we will have over here input dot get button down jump. We will have in air because jump was pressed. And this is going to be set to true over here. Now we are going to go to process variable jump key lift. And this is exactly the same. We are going to go to process variable jump. And this again is exactly the same. I believe there is no change over here. And this is the same as well. And this is the same as well. So over here, this is something that I would like to speak about. So you can see in this block, we will change the value of in the air because jump was pressed to false when jump button was pressed is false. So in air because jump was pressed, if it's equal equal to true, then we'll check these conditions. And if these conditions are true, then in air because jump was pressed will be false. Now this is, this is required because after we're in the air, we will also, uh, also be on the ground after a while. And because of that, we want the in air because jump was pressed back to false. So basically this block will handle the value of this variable when the player character lands on the ground again. Okay, now that we have that, we are going to go and take a look at uh, we're going to take a look at what has changed. So you can see that basically this is the major addition that is over here. 
And we also have an addition over here. So I believe this is an addition as well. And uh, no, I, I apologize, this is not an addition. We already had that. So we are going to take a look at this. So if the player is not on the ground and the jump button was not pressed, so we want to add basically a downwards force right here. And this is the downwards force that we've added. So this is for the situation where we are in the air, which means we are off the ground, but we did not press the jump button. So if we did not press the jump button and we are off the ground, it means that we are basically, we are, we are lifting off. And that is because of the rigid body physics. So we are going to run this code right here, which is going to add a force downwards force, which will help the player character stick to the ground. So this is basically the major addition. And remember that again, this is the code that is written when we are not on the ground and we haven't jumped. So we assume that this will run only if we have liftoff due to physics and the rest and the rest is basically the same, I believe. Yeah, the rest is basically the same. So if I remove this line, uh, these lines of code right here, if I just uh, comment this, you'll see it. If I comment this, you'll see the difference. So if I go to Unity over here, and if I press play, you'll see that there's lift off like that. But if I put this back, and if I press play now, you'll see that there is no liftoff. I'm going to attach this code and you can view it as well.